Hi, it's Anthony from CarPlayLive.com and in this video I'll be looking at the new 4th generation MMB Plus wireless CarPlay adapter. This 4th generation of the MMB Plus dongle offers new software and hardware that includes the addition of wireless Android Auto on top of the same functionality from previous generations including wireless CarPlay, mirroring or screen casting from apps like YouTube directly to your CarPlay display, playback USB media such as videos and music, and connected devices over Bluetooth for calling and music playback. In the box you get a small paper instruction manual, there is the MMB Plus wireless adapter itself, and you get two USB cables to power the adapter, one USB-C to A and one USB-C to C cable for more modern CarPlay vehicles. Looking over the adapter then, it features the same casing as the earlier models of the MMB Plus adapter, with its round top and side ventilation holes. On one end of the adapter, there is a USB-C port to connect the adapter to your vehicle's CarPlay port. And on the opposite side, there is a USB-A port for upgrading the dongle and also to connect a USB drive for media playback of videos and music files. Installation is plug and play. You simply connect the USB-C end to the charging cable and the USB-A or C side of the cable into the CarPlay USB port. This dongle will not work on Android head units, so I tested the adapter on my Alpine and Pioneer CarPlay aftermarket head units, and in seven seconds, I was soon seeing the adapter's boot up animation, followed by its home screen menu in around 30 seconds in total. From here, you have all the available functions presented to you in a grid-like layout. In the top left of the home screen, there's a media playback panel, which comes alive once any Bluetooth music or USB media playback is playing. Beneath this panel are two options for wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Selecting either will display the Bluetooth profile that you'll need to connect to on your mobile device. After the initial Bluetooth connection, your mobile will connect wirelessly in around 10 seconds over Wi-Fi to the adapter. And you can continue to use CarPlay or Android Auto as normal, cable free. With the usual wireless delay traits that are common on all wireless dongles for music playback, turn by turn navigation audio, commands and calling. You can connect a USB charging cable to the adapter's USB-A port to charge your phone without crashing the adapter. However, it will stay in wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto and it will not switch to a wired mode. Over in the USB disk function of the adapter, you get to plug in a USB drive with media pre-installed and this adapter will play back the content onto your CarPlay system display. In my test files, I found the player wasn't able to play certain video files that well. MKV files seem to carry some very obvious compression defects in the video, whereas MP4 files didn't have any playback issues, but some did look like they had a drop in frame rate. The audio seemed in sync though, so taking care to load your USB drive with the most compatible file formats should be a priority when using this method of video playback. Music playback seemed fine also, with common sound files being supported. I did notice a few crashes here and there, which might be likely due to incompatible file formats, but disconnecting the USB drive brought me back to the main menu and the dongle didn't need to be restarted. Selecting either mirror or casting options from the main menu offered similar experiences and results. This allows you to connect the adapter to a personal Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone and then choose to either mirror your device to your CarPlay display or AirPlay or screencast from an app on your iPhone or Android mobile. For iPhone, this only works by selecting the screen mirror option from the control panel, whilst Android users can use the screencast button to mirror their phone or use the cast button that's available in apps like YouTube for a more native looking experience. You can view videos from non-copyrighted apps such as YouTube, TikTok and videos from your camera roll. However, apps like Netflix, Amazon Prime and Disney Plus will not be able to display video in this way. The sound in apps that did work played back in sync and I tested this with a few sound sync test videos on YouTube as well as playing back my own from both iPhone and Android devices. In the Bluetooth section of the menu, you get to connect a Bluetooth device to playback music and use the adapter to browse your synced contacts and call them on your CarPlay display. Audio is adjustable via your phone's volume buttons this way, and there are clear options to call, browse recent calls, and view your contacts, to basic playback and navigation buttons for Bluetooth music from an app that's running on your connected device. There is a single round button present on some on-screen functions of this adapter, which simply goes back to the home screen, and at times there is an additional back option that will take you one subscreen backwards in the media area that you're in. 
Luckily, it's good to see that this button doesn't display during wireless CarPlay or Android Auto. The fourth generation MMB Plus wireless CarPlay adapter retails for $139 plus shipping from MMB directly. And you can use my coupon code CarPlayLife to save yourself an extra 5% at checkout. It's good to see wireless Android Auto being added to this dongle. Whilst its main menu interface and casting video playback have seen some improvements over older versions of this dongle. Its lengthy and quite over the top boot up animation helps distract what is a lengthy boot up time. Yet once booted, you'll be able to connect to either CarPlay or Android Auto without the need to reboot it. The option to boot straight into wireless CarPlay is possible, which took around 36 seconds in total. Yet auto booting into Android Auto is absent from the settings menu and it will require an additional press of the Android Auto button to wirelessly connect to your Android device. Streaming video from YouTube took some setting up and its performance can vary based on your own mobile's Wi-Fi hotspot connection. But with a solid connection, playback seemed good with audio in sync with the video and the Android cast button method seemed a little better presented and navigated than on the iPhone. So if you're looking for a wireless CarPlay or wireless Android Auto dongle for your CarPlay system in your car, with the added flexibility of either casting YouTube to your CarPlay display or playing back USB media from a connected USB drive, then this fourth generation MMB Plus adapter does this relatively well without adding any extra complexity or bulk that an alternative Android AI box would bring. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you found some value in this video. If you have, please leave us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this fourth generation MMB Plus adapter. You can check out all my other wireless CarPlay dongle reviews up in the top left playlist window. Hit that subscribe button and bell to not miss any of my future content. You can send me a super thanks if you would like to help support this channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.